Anomaly Lens is the latest technology added to the Anomaly product line. It uses natural language processing to interpret the pager on and identify any potential threat intelligence and provide the content you need to understand what you're looking at. On the page, we have Fortinet's blog posts, a deep dive into the Emotet malware. On a quick glance at the page, we see that there's a number of threat intelligence terms as well as a list of indicators of compromise that may or may not be of interest to us. By scanning the page with a lens, clicking the Scan Page button, it interprets the page to find any potential relationships with threat intelligence stored in ThreatStream. And now, when we hover over unknown entities, we have a tooltip that tells us exactly what this entity is. So we can see a short description of Emotet, a list of tags associated with the malware entity, and that it also goes by the name Jodo. Scrolling down, we see that the indicators of compromise are outlined as well. Entities outlined in orange are indicators of compromise that are currently active in ThreatStream. This means that, without having to leave the page, we know that we're protected against these orange indicators of compromise in our environment because they're active entities in ThreatStream. You'll also notice that some of these indicators of compromise are outlined in red. This means that these indicators are not only known in ThreatStream, but have been detected in my own network activity. When Anomaly Lens scans a page, it also matches parsed indicators against your network event history in Anomaly Match, thus alerting you to activity in your network related to the very threat you're reading about. We can click the Matches button to view the network events that match the indicator and begin to get to the root of the activity. Back to the article, very commonly as an analyst, I will want to take content like this and make slight modifications to track it in our environment and put it in the notes that are relevant to my organization. I can do this with a single click on the Create Threat Bulletin button. This will take the content from this page, import the operational intelligence as well as the strategic intelligence enabling us to have protection at a machine level as well as to have the historical information and descriptions retained as well. Creating a threat bulletin like this traditionally can take anywhere from hours to days. We have reduced it to around 90 seconds and a few clicks. Now we see that the content of the blog post is fully maintained along with its formatting. We have the ability to edit this content using a simple markdown editor and add our notes as an analyst. What content did we identify? How is this relevant for us? Etc. You'll also notice that we have a live preview routine below so we can see how the changes are reflected. Further, we have the associations from the previous page retained, which means all the relationships between all identified entities from the blog post are automatically preserved for us in ThreatStream. Another example of how Lens can be used as a security professional is within your traditional security workflows. It's very common for our users to be searching for something in Splunk or any other sim for potential incidents, and these may not be related to threat intelligence. To bring threat intelligence into this investigation, they will have to go through each one of these logs individually, identify potential threat intel, do their research, and then come back to the Splunk UI. With Lens, they can simply scan the page and have the content brought to them. This allows an analyst to make a very easy decision of yes or no, do I care. In this context, orange means that there's threat intelligence on this particular IP. It's a high severity but a low confidence, so I may not be as interested. Whereas if we get further down, we see a very high severity with a very high confidence. This is an alert that I will prioritize higher over the others. I'm able to make these snap decisions very quickly with the use of Lens. The last use case we'll cover is reading a news article as an executive. There's a lot of institutional knowledge around threat intelligence that can make articles such as the one on my screen hard to interpret. We have an actor group reference, a malware family, and I may not be an expert in these things. But rather than having to Google around to understand what this content means, once again, I can simply scan the page with Lens and have the context I need brought directly to me. Further, as an executive, since it is orange, I know that my threat intelligence is aware of this threat and my organization is protected. Lens enables the entire security organization to easily access threat intelligence and leverage it in their day-to-day -day workflow without having to leave the browser they're comfortable in.